An anonymous tip leads police to make eight drug-related arrests Saturday night. News 18 Samantha Tiki has more on this story. Lafayette resident Mark Nittiger says he was looking out the window of his North 24th Street home Saturday afternoon when he saw what looked like a drug deal taking place. I'd seen a white van pull up on North 24th Street five or ten minutes later. There's a great car that pulled up behind it. Nittiger says he saw the driver of the white van get out and get into the back seat of the gray car. Soon after, he says he saw Lafayette police arrive at the intersection of North 24th and Albany Streets. Then one of the guys from the passenger side that got out of the uh, white van took off down Albany and got on 22nd Street. When police caught up with the man, they found methamphetamine, synthetic drugs, and a handgun. Thomas Land Jr. was arrested and charged with carrying a handgun without a license, resisting law enforcement, and several other drug-related charges. That one arrest led police to several more. Lafayette resident James asked News 18 not to use his last name, but says he saw police in what he calls full gear approaching a home in his neighborhood. There must have been seven, eight, ten cops, and they were all over the place. Further investigation led police to this home in the 1300 block of South 26th Street. Inside the home, officers found methamphetamine, synthetic drugs, and paraphernalia. That discovery led to seven more arrests. They had several people uh, handcuffed and was sitting on the driveway next to the privacy fence. Five people in the home, Richard Budd, Cameron Berger, Taylor Roden, Zachary Schultz, and Crystal Weigel were all arrested on drug-related charges. Two others, Ashton Van Pelt and John Wright, were also arrested and charged with visiting a common nuisance. Anyone with more information about the investigation is asked to call the Lafayette Police Department or call the WeTip hotline at 1-800-78-CRIME. Samantha Tiki, News 18.